Welcome back to the Miss World Guam 2017 pageant. I know what you're all waiting for. You're waiting for our contestants and to find out who will move on to the semi-final round. You'll soon find out, so be patient. We're almost there. I swear we're almost there. Results from our official tabulators from Ernst & Young are coming right up. But we do have some special awards to present, beginning with Miss Photogenic. This award is presented to the contestant that exemplifies ultimate beauty in front of the lens. As you can see, because you all have 2020 vision, any of this award could go to any of our 11 contestants because they're all deserving. But only one contestant can be Miss Photogenic and selecting the winner for the, our pageant photographers, John Balvin and Patrick Camacho. If our presenters can come on stage. Joining us on stage to present the award for Miss Photogenic, please welcome 2014 Miss World Guam, third runner-up, Angele Mendiola, 2013 Miss World Guam, fourth runner-up, Carmen Cabrera, and 2015 Miss World Guam, first runner-up, Athena McNinch. So you ready to find out who's Miss Photogenic? Well, this year's Miss Photogenic is Mariah Saldana! And joining us up next on the stage to present the award are 2012 Miss World Guam Geneva Bosco, 2014 Miss World Guam third runner-up Angela Mendiola, and 2015 Miss World Guam Aria Perez Tyson. And as you all know from the movie Miss Congeniality, the contestants vote amongst themselves who should receive this award. If our presenters could make their way in the front. Squad assemble. <laughs> Miss Congeniality 2017 is Carmela Navarretti. Our next award is the People's Choice Award. This goes to the contestant who received the most likes on the Miss World Guam Facebook page. Joining us on stage to present the People's Choice Award are Miss World Guam official photographer John Balbin, 2013 Miss World Guam fourth runner-up Carmen Cabrera, and 2014 Miss World Guam second runner-up Iolani Lobaton. And the People's Choice Award goes to Mariah Saldana, who received the most likes on Facebook following KUAM's swimsuit special. Congratulations, ladies, but are you ready, everyone? I don't think they're ready, Crystal. I don't think so either, Nick. Let's try that again. Yes? Are you ready, everyone? Come on, I can't hear you. What's your favorite contestant's number? That's the kind of energy you want right now. I think we're ready to announce the seventh semi-finalist. 
and in no particular order, your seven semi-finalists are... Contestant number eight, Anna Nia Malta! Contestant number 11, Destiny Cruz! Contestant number seven, Aaron Wong! Contestant number nine, Alana D. Sartus! Contestant number five, Janela Chuko! Contestant number six, Kehani Pilar Mendiello! And last but not least, Contestant number three, Mariah Saldana! Again, big props to Ernst and Young, our official tabulators for this evening, who we're assured will not keep us waiting. Congratulations to our seven semi-finalists. As for the four who did not advance, everyone please give them a round of applause. Late. Ladies, if you can now make your way off the stage, thank you so much. And here they are, your seven semifinalists. One of these contestants could very well be our next Miss World Guam. Let's give them a round of applause. Also, if our ladies could step back, Step back just a few steps. All right, time to get serious and begin our interview portion of the pageant. Here's how this is going to work. Each contestant will pull a question from this bowl. Each question will be different, so no contestant will be asked the same one. Our judges will base their score on how best each contestant is able to articulate their answer. First up, contestant number eight. And your question is, if you could get rid of one problem on Guam, what would it be and why? If you can get rid of one problem on Guam, what would it be and why? I would get rid of apathy the lack of caring. By ridding Guam of apathy, um, apathy meaning the lack of caring, the lack, you, I'm sorry. The lack of caring, it leads to the lack of respect, respect for yourself, respect for others around you, respect for the land and the environment. And by ridding Guam of the lack of caring, we're solving many more problems. Um, not just, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> By ridding Guam <laughs> of apathy, um, we've, our people have um, had a history of 3,500 years and to lose that to apathy would be a real shame. Sitsus Maasi. Thank you, contestant number eight. Next up, contestant number 11. So your question is, if you could meet anyone from history, who would it be and why? If you could meet anyone from history. If I could meet anyone in history, I would love to meet Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet. He was a pioneer for American Sign Language and he bridged the gap between, he bridged the gap of, I'm sorry. <laughs> He bridged the gap between hearing people and those individuals of the deaf community. As an aspiring sign language interpreter, I would love to follow into his, I would love to follow his footsteps. 
and follow what he has laid out for all of us. So thank you so much. Thank you. Next is contestant number seven, your question. Given Guam's recent attention in international news, what would you want people to know about the island? I would want people to know that Guam is paradise. With our crystal clear blue waters, breathtaking sunsets, a rich history, unique culture, values, and a people who welcome you as their own, we have the, we, as a small island, we have a profound impact that makes visitors feel as if they have a home away from home. Thank you. All right, thank you. Next, contestant number nine. Your question, what does beauty with a purpose mean to you? Thank you for that question. Each individual perceives beauty in their own unique ways. To me, having the passion to accomplish something in life that will make a positive impact on, on society is a good purpose. Now, achieving that goal while inspiring and empowering others to do the same is what makes that purpose beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have contestant number five. And your question is, if you were an animal, what would it be and why? Did you get that? If you were an animal, what would it be and why? If I were an animal, I would be a dog. Dogs are considered man's best friend, and they are the only animals that can sense perception. They are very therapeutical in a sense that if you are happy, if you are sad, they can easily adapt to it and they can lift up your spirits. And as an aspiring nurse, Helping people lift up their spirits is what I love to do. Thank you. Thank you. Next, contestant number six. So your question, when do you feel most confident? I feel most confident whenever I help others. And the reason I say that is because there is nothing more fulfilling to me than helping someone lift a load off their shoulders and hearing them express their gratitude. For me, it's what motivates me and it drives me to conquer any obstacles that comes my way. Thank you. Thank you. And last but not least, contestant number three, please take your question. Your question, what constitutes true beauty? It is really easy to recognize somebody by their appearance, but what constitutes true beauty is your character. You should be selfless and you should give back to others. There's a saying that goes, you should check your neighbor's plate not because to make sure they have more than yours, but to make sure they have enough. Beauty ages over time, but your character lasts a, long, a lifetime. Thank you. Thank you. And our judges are giving their score sheets, are now being given the score sheets to our tabulators from Ernst & Young. Soon we will go from seven semifinalists down to the final four. As we wait for the results, Please come on stage, performers from the Fusion Dance Center.
just to get close to you and quit burning something today. And I'll run for miles just to get a taste. All right, give another round of applause to the Fusion Dance Center. Thank you for that performance. Let's check in now, backstage, with Bree and Jason. All right, hop day, everybody, and welcome to backstage. A raucous crowd out there, but decidedly a little bit more comfortable here with two of the most lovely ladies who have ever worn the crown of Miss World Guam. Of course, Aria Paris Dyson and Miss World Guam 2015. Hop day, Aria. Hop day. Good to see you, and Geneva Borja Bosco. It was five years ago that you actually took the crown. How are you? Very old. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks a lot. I know. Yeah. I know what old is like, and girl, you're not old. <laughs> okay, well, you know, one question I'm wondering is, you know, obviously the two of you have been through this. What does the girl who will ultimately be crowned Miss World Guam, what does she have to look forward to, and what responsibilities does she have in representing our island? Well, in representing the island, you have so much to learn and experience and just through that you grow as a person and I think that is prize enough to have the opportunity to go out and meet so many people who are like-minded and strong and confident and growing with them and like learning just all kinds of things about yourself, about the world, about how to be a better person in the community. So I look forward to, for, I look forward to that for the winner. And that is why she won, ladies and gentlemen. That was an answer. <laughs> very, very nice. Okay, G Geneva, big shoes to fill. But certainly, you know, you did a lot of work in your reign as our queen. Um, what do you think these girls have to look forward to? And, you know, you were active in the community. You inspired a lot of young women. Uh, what does it mean to you to be a role model to young Guamanians? Um, well, like my fellow pageant sister said, you're going to meet a lot of beautiful people, beautiful souls. Uh, the island has many guidances, whether it's spirits, whether it's the churches, whether it's the people. So no matter what you're going to go through, there's people to back you up. And you may not win this, you may do other things in life, but it's all about the experience, your attitude, and just uh, the enjoyance of love all around. Okay, I think the word that both of them used was sisterhood. And you're both very, very close, not only to each other, but also to the other girls that, that you ran with. Absolutely. When I see them out, I always make a point to say hi, because you never forget running and, you know, what they're going through now. It's going to stay in your mind. All right. Well, thank you. It was so great to see you, Geneva and Aria. Back to you, Crystal and Nick. Thanks, Brian Jason. Please welcome once again to the Sheraton stage, Jed, to perform I heard to perform Need You. Miss World Guam, this is a new song that I'm working on. It's a collaboration with one of Guam's top DJs, DJ Pogi. Hope you guys like it. Never before released, ever. This is the first time you guys are hearing it. Want to test it on the grandest stage, Miss Universe Guam. World Guam, sorry. My check, my check. Girl, what you doing in my conscience right now? I'm supposed to be faded. Why am I thinking about this nonsense I be? Getting all these feels, I can't explain it. Come on, want you, my chip. I think I need you. Maybe I don't, but all I see is Let me trust the 
Turn a boy into a hooligan I need to find you just to find myself Cause to be honest, baby, I've been losing Losing my cool, trying to keep it with your heat Well, I be acting full while you living every weekend Rounds with the boys, got me tripping on my feels, yeah Love me drives home, got me feeling in defeat yeah. When I'm trying to vibe, you pop a bride in my mind At the worst times, wanna hit you up like Got you on speed dial The real I'm investing all of this thought into something that can't define it Girl, what you doing in my conscience right now? Thanks, Jed. Are you ready to find out who your final four is? We have the envelopes right here. The envelope. Yeah, the results from Ernst & Young, once again, out of these seven semifinalists making their way to the stage. Only four will advance and will still be in the running to present Guam in the international competition scheduled for November in Sanya, China. Here we go. Your four finalists, in no particular order. Number 11, Destiny Cruz. <laughs> Contestant number nine, Alana DeSantis. Contestant number eight, Anania Nata. And last but not least, making our top four is contestant number seven, Aaron Wong. All right, they are your four, your final four. As for the three semifinalists, thank you for participating and the hard work you've done for your charities. Please give them a round of applause as they exit the stage. Thank you, ladies. Soundproof 
booth in the back. Again, because the final question, the ladies will not be able to hear their other ladies' answers. So, we're going to ask three of the contestants to leave the stage. So, all, everyone but Destiny will leave the stage. So, Destiny will stay. Our three contestants will exit the stage. So before we can continue with the final question, we got to make sure our other three con contestants are not able to hear. So we'll have headphones. Oh, yeah. we'll They'll have be headphones. in the soundproof area so that they make sure that each of them's answer is authentic. Can you hear me back there? Anania, Aaron, Alana, can you hear me? Do you think that's good enough? You think they can hear us? Anna? Aaron? I think we're good. Alana, I think we're good. Sounds soundproof good? to me. How are you doing now? Are you ready for your question? All right. Given the attention Guam has received as a result of the threats from North Korea, how would you use your role as Miss World Guam to promote peace and stability on Guam and around the world? I can repeat it one more time. Given the attention Guam has received as a result of the threats from North Korea, how would you use your role as Miss World Guam to promote peace and stability on Guam and around the world? Given if I were to win, I would use my role in a very special way. I would first let everyone know that Guam is made up of more than 7,000 U.S. soldiers. Guam is more than just a strategic location for the U.S. military. We are people with rich history and deep culture, and we are resilient people. And I will show that we are very strong and resilient through the way that I act and the way that I carry myself, the way that I value my culture and everything that I have that I hold close to my heart. I will share that by showing everyone that we are very resilient and we are strong in the face of adversity. Thank you. Thank you very much. There she comes. How are you doing tonight, Alana? I'm good, thank you. So, let's see. All the ladies back there ready? They have their headphones off. We're good? All right, Chris. So your question, given the attention Guam has received as a result of the threats from North Korea, how would you use your role as Miss World Guam to promote peace and stability on Guam and around the world? Again, given the attention Guam has received as a result of threats from North Korea, how would you use your role as Miss World Guam to promote peace and stability on Guam and around the world. I am more than willing to use this role as leadership on Guam to show the world what Guam is about and what our culture is and how it is instilled in us. I just want the world to know how much our culture is rooted in interdependency. A culture that teaches us the importance of respect and selflessness and how we are so giving in many ways. So I want to put Guam out there to let everybody know that this is a home to many big hearted people. And our anathematic spirit is in me and I'm willing to put my all in it. And I'm more than willing to do anything to show everyone that our home, my home, is very important. Thank you. Thank you, Alana. Anania, how are you feeling? So your question, given the attention Guam has re received as a result of the threats from North Korea, how would you use your role as Miss World Guam to promote peace and stability on Guam and around the world? 
Again, given the attention Guam has received as a result of the threats from North Korea, how would you use your role as Miss World Guam to promote peace and stability on Guam and around the world? First of all, I'd let everyone know that we're more than just paradise. We're more than just a strategic location. We have 3,500 years of history and in those 3,500 years, our people and our culture, they've overcome adversity, they've overcome many challenges, and we've survived and we are still doing that today. Our people, our culture, we encompass the essence of Inafa Malik. Inafa Malik meaning to make good to make good with ourselves, to make good with each other, with our natural environment, the people around us, to make good with the rest of the world. And that is what I want the rest of the world to know about our island. Thank you. Thank you, Anania. How are you feeling, Erin? Excited. So your question is, given the attention Guam has received as a result of the threats from North Korea, how would you use your role as Miss World Guam to promote peace and stability on Guam and around the world? Given the attention Guam has received as a result of the threats from North Korea, how would you use your role as Miss World Guam to promote peace and stability on Guam and around the world? Like all things, it takes action. So I need to be a role model to exemplify peace and prosperity. So by acting like beauty with a purpose, by making that my way of life, I can promote by th through my actions. Thank you. Thank you, Erin. And that concludes the final interview. The score sheets are being handed over to Ernst and Young for the final tabulations. And please, once again, welcome performers from the Fusion Dance Center.
Thank you, Fusion Dance Center. Give them a round of applause. Stay tuned. The Miss World Guam 2017 pageant continues after the break.